Hello and welcome back to another video. So the other day I spotted this um, Panasonic VDR-D150 um, camcorder and what threw me for a second was that it was DVD and obviously the shape of it was very much like a disc and I thought I've never seen those before or at least I didn't remember them so having a look it then turned out that they used these mini DVDs um, so I thought, you know what, I've not seen that before, I'll get it and see what it's like, and so this is the video based on that. So, basically as camcorders were getting, um, around the early 2000s, they were trying to make them more, uh, a smaller form factor, more portable and more reliable, and to do that they needed to get away from tape formats, of which I've got a few here, so you've got the uh, HG90 uh, there, then you've got uh, a, D, a mini DV here. And then this is more of a tape cassette, but it gives you an idea of, so that's a micro cassette. So you had these kind of tape formats. And so in comparison to these, it allowed it to be a lot slimmer and also to hold a lot more memory. Now, the reason I didn't really remember them was because as a format, just like if you, uh, mini discs, very quickly we moved on to hard drives and memory cards and this one actually takes both uh, the mini dvd for footage and then it takes a memory card for photos but anyway i thought i'd have a play with it and share my findings with you so as mentioned this is a panasonic um dvd uh ram dvd minus r rewritable as well which is ideal 30 times optical zoom um battery on the back as usual lithium uh, battery pack for this one though because i don't have the charger um I, i'm going to be removing uh removing this and just plugging directly into there so it takes a 7.9 volt positive inner core so i've i've, I've got a, a cable i can plug in uh, it's annoying because i would have liked rather than putting this into a charging cable i would have liked it if you could have had this on the device and then plugged in separately to charge that so that's a real shame but it is what it is so you've got your battery pack on the side nice click here allows the uh, screen to come open with the focus setting for auto and manual inside then you've got your on off delete record menu and um camera playback camera record uh, video playback video record volume um zoom and photoshop uh, photoshop there and then this is where we load the disc so as you can see conditions pretty good on this one uh nothing really to to point out at all it's all there um extremely light signs of wear for its age but yeah very that's a very good condition so uh and, and in addition to this i have the original power cable here so this would fit in here and then the other end would go to the charging cable so you could either go directly into the charging cable or you'd have this in the charging cable instead um, and then there's also the AV out which would plug into the front here so you've got the AV out there uh, and then another connection so uh, um, so you've also got a um, mini uh usb there for whatever that might use so your AV else i guess is so that if you could play you could play back directly to a tv but that's enough talk let's have a look at uh have a look at everything so i'll be using um so i've got these variable tips are always really handy for uh different electronics and this is a, a four by 1.7 tip and a positive inner core and it's set down there to correct voltage to correspond with 7.9 volts so i'll plug that in and as you can see the the unit is is now um, uh, showing power uh and over here as well so it got off and on so if i turn turn it on here a beep i push to open and i'm going to go in the camera setting to start with so no card, so this requires a memory card to work. So for that, basically open the bottom, pop in a memory card, and that's then you good to go with the photos. So basically you have 
your playback where you can access and you can access the menu here to delete or uh, format the cards etc i found that it didn't like some types of uh, memory cards but it did like this one and then when you're ready you just rotate the, the wheel around um it will it's just beeping because it's saying set date and time take the lens cap off and so this is now just a normal in photo mode so i'm zooming in and out once to take a photo simply hit the uh, photo shot up there you got photo shot at the top and that takes the picture i don't think this will do anything i'll try anyway no so that's your photo button up at the top and then you just rotate the wheel back round and that's your image there you just navigate around with the with the uh, stick in the middle and then if you want to delete you'll just go to the delete button and delete so that then deletes it from there so that's all all pretty straightforward but really we're here for that uh, uh mini dvd format aren't we so for that uh it doesn't matter if that's open or closed so there's a disc eject button just here because it pops out and then you just open it all up Take the mini DVD format and just put it on like what you'd expect and close this up. So now at this point if we rotate through to uh, the play you'll see a very just a, a one short uh, clip should appear that I recorded earlier. Just reading the disc. And there we go so if i then select that that was simply just panning across my my workstation earlier i'll stop that now within this uh, menu this is then when you go to setup in the playback one and this is where you format your disc for either playback on a uh, on a dvd player or for uh, for something else so um so playback with other dvd players or for editing in this unit go back to the main menu now one thing that caught me out was I was re formatting this, recording, and then putting it on a DVD player, and it wasn't showing, and all the previous stuff was still showing on the disc, even though I'd formatted it, which surprised me. So the gotcha with this is, once you've formatted your, your disc, and you've done your recording, what you have to do to, to get playback after, is you have to go to setup, and then you have to finalise your disc. It's saying can't finalise, because it's... Um, got more to record but I'll show you in a second you have to finalize it or maybe in fact I've probably unfinalized I've already finalized this one so you'd have to unfinalize it so you have to finalize it for the content to then show but what we'll do is we'll go into the record mode with the rotate of that so see there the disc is finalized so what I'll do is I'll go in here menu let's see if we can unfinalize and finalize complete right so that was relatively quick so now we'll go back into the uh, record mode and here we are so i'll just pan across these items so using this button here, press the button to stop it, move back to the playback. And there we can see what I've just recorded. Now I'm going to stop that there. So yeah, you, you do all this recording, then you go in here and you do your setup. <laughs> Change the language. You go in your setup and then you finalize, you have to finalize the disc, say yes, and that will then allow it to play back. Now, I'm going to do a little bit, of, I'm going to break the fourth wall because one thing to point out is finalizing that disc I found took around 10 maybe even 15 minutes just for just for uh, one video now it might not it might be um, content independent I it might take that long regardless of how much was on and so what I've done is I've already finalized the disc I'm just going to move you over to here 
so you can see I've already put one into the DVD player over there which I recorded earlier so we'll pop the DVD in and there you can see on the menu press play and this was something very similar again just panning across the desk and that was it. it was very short so bring my background to here yeah that's it so um, a real quick canter through but I just wanted to share my experience um, with this format so uh, this was a mic uh, um, a micro or mini or DVD single format used within this in combination with a memory disc to do the photos and the videos. This one has a battery included but it doesn't have a power lead and it doesn't have a charge so they'd have to be sourced separately. Um, but yeah just a, a, just a real uh, interesting thing to have a look at. If you've enjoyed the video please like, comment, share, subscribe it really helps me grow the channel. Uh, first one after hitting 500 subscribers so thank you so much to everyone who is already subscribed um, but other than that all the best take care and see you in the next one